I looked at the screen, and there was Mustafa coming across the sand on his crutches. I just started screaming, like, that's Mustafa. He's actually alive. Breaking news in the fight against ISIS. A U.S. official telling us that American warplanes conducted a precision strike on a large what truck. What happened over the weekend is ISIS lost Fallujah. Now to Iraq and an exclusive look at the Iraqi city of Fallujah. Special correspondent Jane Araf reports. This is just a couple of hours after Iraqi security forces have declared Fallujah completely liberated. Last year I was reporting from Fallujah when I met a boy named Mustafa Ahmed. When I heard his story, I thought he'd been forgotten. Well, Mustafa was born in 2002. He was born in بأحداث الفلوجة اللي إحنا نسميها الثانية. إحنا كانت بحالة حرب. الدواعش هيك ناس تضرب على الناس. بيجي يعان وياه ضربته وجيت ما أحس ما أدري شنو طار من عندي. ومصطفى كان مصاب إصابة قوية يعني مصارين البطنة طالعات. مصطفى was lucky to have survived, but he lost his leg. And if you're poor and you need serious medical care in Fallujah, being wounded is just the start of your problems. فبغيت تعرف أعاني من يعني ما يقارب من ال 2005 إلى 2008. ما خلي الدكتور يعتب علي بالفلوجة رمادي. They'd nearly given up, but there's an American group looking for Iraqi children who had been wounded by the U.S. in the war. Uh, the group brought Mustafa and his dad to Portland, Oregon. When Mustafa arrived. Both of his kidneys were failing. He would not be alive today, for sure, had he not come here. I can say that with certainty. I watched some pretty horrible moments with him in that first time when he was in the emergency room. Um, the pain and um, him asking his father, why didn't you just let me die when the bombs fell? And as Ahmed said all the time, Mustafa is one of hundreds of thousands of Iraqis whose lives will never be the same. There's no doubt Mustafa envisioned himself as a soccer player. And just watching his athleticism as a very coordinated five-year-old, I have no doubt that he would have been an athlete. And hopefully he still will be. Um, but I think that everybody felt really compelled by his story and, and understood this was just a, a, a tragedy of our making. His condition improved a lot in Portland. Eventually, he and his father went back to Iraq. The group tried to stay in touch. I recall phone calls with them, uh, you know, every few months, maybe for about a year, maybe like three or four phone calls. And then it became impossible. And we keep trying and nothing. And so, of course, our worst fear was that he and the, fa and the family hadn't survived. Fallujah was under ISIS control for more than two years. And for most people, there was no internet, no phone. When Mustafa talked about having been to the U.S. for medical treatment, I thought people had forgotten about him. That all changed when my PBS News story aired on July 1st. My husband Ned and I were sitting out back. It was right around dinner time, and uh, Mary Lynn called and said, you are not going to believe this. We were so excited, we immediately pulled the computer out and saw the Fallujah story. And then there was this young boy, and I think, I said to him, is that Mustafa? I am. I am a child. 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 I am a when Mustafa remembers Portland, he remembers having his own bedroom, almost as if it was this unimaginable luxury. In Fallujah, his whole family shares one room. He misses the friends he made in Portland. He wants to go back. Maxine and the rest of the group were trying to get him a visa for more treatment. It was very difficult to see the conditions that he and his family were in then. I mean, it was just, 
hard to imagine how anybody could live like that, much less Mustafa, who had his own personal medical needs. So, yes, we really, really want to bring he and his mom here. On his first day of school in Fallujah this fall, Mustafa walked an hour there and an hour back on crutches. His family doesn't have the money for transportation. Mustafa is determined to make a future for himself, no matter where that is.